and welcome to the Unstuds Podcast. Now 100% unscripted. Oh, there's a typo in the script. This is Alex speaking. With me here is uh, Agent Robin. Hello. And uh, Aiden. What's up? And running the IT is Lori and Steven. Steven's also doing double duty as Rutherman. Speaking of shit, hey Steven, what's the weather? Cold, cold, cold. You're right? You're right? Thanks for the heads up. And now we're gonna talk about the space station known as the International Space Station. It was built by either the countries, which is named, named America, Japan, Canada, Russia, and the ESA. Let's hear from our good friend Captain Aiden. Alright. Has anybody here ever wondered if there were other planets out there that had living creatures on them? Well, probably. I mean, it's. I always thought it was possible because what if they. I mean, there could be other planets, other living creatures on them, but they could be years and years away, and that could be possible why nobody's ever even heard about them. Hmm. Well, that's a good point. What do you think, Pink Alex? You'd think that, like, given how hard we tried looking for aliens, I mean, you'd think we'd find at least one of them at some point, but, but, but we haven't found anything yet. Maybe just more bearing planets and stuff, but... Well, let's hope there won't be any uh, aliens from the horror movies. Indeed. Indeedly, dibbly, dee. I honestly don't blame the horror movies for that, because sci-fi tends to have a thing for aliens. Well, yeah, that's why I, they just use a whole bunch of money. They need to make, make some costumes of it. Anyways, he's back to, ooh, Aiden's topic. Yeah. Well, about what you were saying, my brother used to believe aliens exist when he was younger, and even it took him a while, especially when he first started becoming a teenager. I kept trying to tell him that aliens did exist, but apparently he just wouldn't listen to me. He was so scared. Every time he'd go to bed at night, he was so scared of the dark, he, afraid, he was afraid aliens might come and scare him. But I tried to convince him. Everybody knows aliens aren't real. Or are they? Did your brother try to, like, pick, pick up radio waves from out of space while, and then while stationed in the Arizona desert? Be- because if not, he did not go far enough. Uh, no, he did not go far enough. And he did not go to the Arizona desert, but he has been to Arizona. Ah. Well, let's hope he won't go near Area 51. Indubitably. Mm-hmm. Now we're, we're going to go to our, our topic to Alex. In my topic, like Ben's, is, it's also pretty interesting and stuff. It's like, society in space. If we were to, like, say, like, I don't know, co- ma- somehow managed to colonize the Milky Way or whatever, I mean, like, I mean, what would life in society in such a scale be like? Personally, I'd say it wouldn't really stay that far from, you know, like, how stuff is on Earth, actually. Just imagine that, but, like, scale it up. We're gonna have, like, dogfights in space with lasers. Oh, like a futuristic war, or if we're going off a war against Vladimir Putin if he goes too far. Yeah, and for similarly petty reasons. Exactly! It'll be just like home so in space. So why are people afraid of it? I don't know, because people are going to think it's going to be Star Wars or Star Trek. Who knows? I don't know, maybe it's going to travel to but, but seriously, though, I mean, like, I mean, what were your hopes for, like, is, is space, space society? Would it be, like, a, a perfect utopia in closer to home, or, like, is, is, or some kind of, like, dystopian nightmare or whatever? Yeah, yeah I would rather have it, it as a paradise. I just like building up a space station and just Making that at home for, or being up in space as a symbol of peace. Like in Valerian and the uh, Thousands of Planets or something, it, that's what they're called, right? Anyways, is I would agree be about uh, the paradise ice idea about in space. There, but the rule would be is no violence. Enforcing that rule would be the trick because like, let's face it, violence has been in part so even has, has been in sync even before man. I mean, it doesn't take much to, like, imagine, like, prehistoric fish before the dinosaurs, like, like, fighting each other in, in like, ancient ocean or whatever. Yeah, that explains the new mutated shrimps I had. 
mutated shrimp. What? <laughs> what you you were talking about fishes, so we, so I just brought up about the fishes. Is well, yeah, but I'm talking about some of the first fishes. Oh yeah, Space Society. Uh, Aiden, what do you think about it? The Space Society sounds incredibly exciting to me. I used to explore space a lot when I was a little kid, and when I was a teenager, I. I barely remembered anything I explored, but I have my own telescope at home, and actually I can use it to actually look at stars. And now, I, sometimes it's hard for me to tell which planet is which. If it's Pluto, I swear it's not even a planet. We hope you enjoyed our discussion on space exploration. Tune in again for another interesting podcast from the Guys Group. Right, that, wait, wait a second, there's an alien here! Let's catch it! <laughs>